Hello everyone, so here I am welcoming you to my nail art room. This is like, well mostly my nail room, but also a little bit of beauty. And here is my massage chair that I do have for both friends, well for my, me and myself. Me, myself and my husband of course, and for customers that I do have once in a while. And there's Gucci, hello honey, running around. And here is just a few little decorations my aloe vera plant and this is my like bookshelf or dresser I don't know what to call it really because I don't have any clothes or books in it but this is where I store all my stuff as you see I have a printer and a little few decorations this is some um, hand scrub and hand lotion just a little bit more decoration a mirror and things like that but the most important thing of this room is this part as you can see here this is where I sit to do both my nails both when I'm filming on myself and when I do it on friends and customers so that is the chair for the second person and that's where I sit and here is my wall of nail polishes I think I have it is one two three four five six seven and eight so eight shelves of nail polishes most of them are from opi because i've been working with opi a little bit that's mostly the main reason why i have opi but i love opi and i did buy their products even before i got a cooperation with them so i'm just going to show you some of the polishes up here i have well two opi polishes and some mini ones from the bright idea mini collection and the little romantics and a couple of Dior Chanel, not that many, but a couple of them. And my Sesh Beat dry fast top coat that I use like in every design I do. Um, so Isadora Magnetic Nail Polish. You can see that comes off with this pattern here with the magnetic. And behind here I have my first and only Essie, which is called Bikini Sotini. It's beautiful baby blue and an this is a magnetic nail polish that I bought off of eBay and it's kind of cool because it's like this grayish, I don't know, grayish green and when you put out a magnet on it, it changes completely Well, it comes out like golden tones. And my clean color matte top coat and then I have a bunch of these thin nail art striper from LA Color Art Deco. So silver, black, white, um, yellow, and pink, and green, and gold. And this one I bought off of eBay. And it's okay, it's not the best, but this is like a silver metallic shimmer striper polish. Here I have two Del Sol. I love these polishes. This one is a silvery glitter. And when it, this is what the way it looks when it's indoors and like in just uh, an indoor lighting. But when it comes out in the sun, it turns red. And this one is the name Ruby Slipper. I love this polish. And this one is, is similar. This is also Del Sol. And this one is like a coral orange, but when it comes out in the sun, it turns purple. And I think that's really cool. And this one is the name Secret Crush. Here I have a couple of makeup store polishes. Two of them are holographic ones, the silver and the pink. And I think they're really pretty and it's a fun way to just jazz up your design. I mean, it can be simple. It can be just one color with this and it looks gorgeous. Here I have two polishes from icing when I've been to the United States. These are beautiful shimmery glitters and some sinful colors. Also polishes that I bought when I was in the States. And a couple of Orly. If there are any names that you're wondering about, then just ask me and I can tell you the names because I don't feel I want to go through all of these polishes. Here I have from, well, these three and these two on top are from the Spider-Man collection that was coming out this year. And from this pink to this reddish pink is Minnie Mouse, vintage Minnie Mouse collection. Well, now I'm mixing up here, but here I have my China Glaze, pol China Glaze polishes and some shimmery, some pinkish, blue, greens, and these are from the Poolside collection, like 2010, I think. 
summer 2010. And here are some blues, greens, like minty colors, refreshment here. And for Audrey and man, I can see I need to shake these. Well, that's how it is. <laughs> some purple and pink, some coral and some metallic and some neutrals, a little black and beige and some metallic here as well. And now coming to my OPI, well, the rest of the polishes that I have now are from OPI. Here is one of my favorite products that I use every design that I do. This is OPI's Nail Envy, which is a nail art strengthener. Well, it's a nail strengthener, sorry. <laughs> and this is a, I use this as a base coat. You can use this as a base coat or like as a treatment so that if you do have really weak nails then you can apply this like I think it's one every day for a week and then you take it off and then you do one more week of applying every single day and this is really helping to really maintain and strengthen your nails and as I said I use this in every design I do as a base coat and I think it's awesome. Here is my one and only Nicole by OPI polish. I bought this in, in the States as well. Rich in spirit. It's beautiful. And here I have some different ones. This is Chip Skip. I have done a review of this and if you're interested I can put a link down below. Here I have some top coats, my nail and V's both in original and in matte. And start to finish which is both a top coat and a base coat and my base coat some ridge fillers and here now we come on to the colors here is some white this is funny bunny and this is alpine snow funny bunny is more like a milky white it doesn't have complete opacity and the cover of it but alpine snow is like a really really white really opaque white and here are some neutrals and beige, like this chocolatey colors, Barefoot in Barcelona, you don't know Jacques, my Chihuahua Bites, I love that name since I have a Chihuahua, <laughs> and some red going darker, like these purple ones, like a magenta, and here are some really dark ones that I love, I think this is really cool, this one, TZ does it, like this goldy, bronzy, brownish, really pretty. And, and these really dark ones, Lincoln Park After Dark. If you do want really dark nails, but you don't want to have black, these are like super. And Lincoln Park at Midnight. And this is a gorgeous color. I say this is like a galaxy color. Let's see if it comes off properly. Here you can see a little bit. I just turn on the flash. It's like it looks like a galaxy, and I think it's gorgeous, crazy gorgeous. And I love that color. And that one has the name My Private Jet. And just a black. Next row here I have in after color. So from a really light pink going a little darker with like different tones. And moving on, I love pink. As you can see, I have pretty many pink colors. So from there down to there are only like just pinks that I have in order of the color. But then I do have more pinks in other collections. So that's pretty funny, I love pink. And then going on to yellow, orange, baby blue, bluer, darker blue, and some greens, and here the final ones. And these five are shatter polishes in turquoise, blue, navy blue, or is it black? It might be black. Navy shatter, yeah, so it was navy blue. Red and this really deep plumish pink. And some more uh, white and black shadow polish. And now I try to keep them organized after collection. So these, let's see here. 
this think it goes there or if it's that one too is from the Hong Kong collection in 2010 in the fall and this is the Christmas collection from 2010 burlesque I have all the glitters and like two or three colors more from that collection I love glitter glitter makes me happy <laughs> so I have tons of glitter and this is well these four are from the circus collection the circus bridal collection from 2011 and these four is Katy Perry the Katy Perry collection that came out in the beginning of 2011 and these three polishes are from the Miss Universe collection which was last summer they are gorgeous and the following colors here are from the I think it was three or four different collections that they did together with Serena Williams you know she plays tennis so they have different glam slam as they called it when she was playing in grand slam tennis tournaments so all of these polishes are from the Serena Williams moving down here is a this is from the designer series so you can see that it's like with a silver cap and this one has the name DS mystery and these are really shimmery like dimensional they're beautiful and this is from the Texas collection summer spring or spring summer collection of 2011 going there so all of these six polishes are sorbet polishes and they have been it has been a lot of talk about these sorbet polishes that a lot of people got disappointed with because I think mostly because they didn't know what to expect because they hadn't tried a polish like it before maybe you wanted to cover really well and since this is sorbet polish it doesn't cover in the way that you are used to they're beautiful they look like popsicles but it's if you're not used to that and that's not what you're expecting you might feel a little bit disappointed but I think it's definitely worth trying if you haven't and here is the summer collection let's see here these one two three four five six seven oh eight because of this shadow polish as well this is from last year's summer collection Pirates of the Caribbean together with the release of the movie I think it was Pirates of the Caribbean 4 wasn't it I think so so these are all like pastel like colors they're gorgeous they're a bit dusty and not at all like neon because they're really soft and here we have the fall collection for last year until those two the ones with the silver cap are from the designer series but um, a lot of dark fall tones from last year gorgeous and the final row here is the Christmas collection from last year and six glitters and there's been a lot of buzz about this particular polish as some of you might know this is called Rainbow Connection and this has been sold out like in every store and they had to take it back to their storage again and again and again so it's really it's a really interesting polish I think I love that it has so many different kind of tones like different kind of shimmer you see different colors in the glitters it's beautiful and let's see these four five is from the Nicki Minaj collection which was from the beginning of this year and I think it really represents her very well that really bright and bold and all these colors are colors that she wears in her what's it called her music video oh I can't remember the song well, well I, I found inspiration from these polishes like when I was watching her video because like a swimsuit she was wearing and, and things like that and here we have this year's spring collection which was called Holland 
gorgeous, gorgeous spring colors. And moving up to this row, the final one. This is this year's fall collection up until the point of that blue color. And this one has the name Germany. So these are really fall-like colors from neutral nudes going up to like reddish, dark, plumage, little plum and magenta and deep blue. And here are the, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is from this year's New York City Ballet, which is the bridal collection. And here you guys you get a sneak peek of the coming winter Christmas collection, which is called Skyfall. And this is inspired by the new Bond movie called Skyfall. So like this one has the name GoldenEye and funny names like that representing the different kind of Bond theme. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And that was it for the nail polishes. I have a far bit over 200. I think I'm going close to 300 polishes right now. As you can see, there are quite many. My little desk and my little tools. And here's my little box and my papers and my notes because I'm going to nail art school, nail tech school. So I'm going to be a nail art therapist which is awesome. So I'm gonna make gel nails and acrylic nails and this is the starter kit. This is like a manicure kit. So just starting to do like spa manicure, manicures and you know, just to paint regularly with nail polishes and fringe manicures and things like that, which is awesome. But I think it has helped me a lot since I've been doing this quite a lot since before. So a lot of people at school are rookies, but I feel I know what I'm doing and that feels awesome. This is my tripod that I use when I do film. Behind it is a little bit of a poker set. We don't use it that often, but it's there and I think it's a nice bag, so I just keep it there. In these pink jars, I haven't really organized them yet, but here is like a whole bunch of, you see it's a mess in here, um, nail art decorations, rainstones, you can see down there, pearls, beads, things like that. I need to really need to organize this. And well, here I have all my stuff. And this is the bag that I normally use. Like right now it's empty, but when I'm going out of town or going to someone else's place and I bring my nail art stuff, that's where I normally keep it. So I just bring some of it. And yeah, I think that's about it. But this is my nail art room, my nail polishes, Hello time, and yeah, do you have any questions? Just comment down below, tell me what you think, what you, if you have any questions or if you're wondering something, and well, welcome to my nail art room if you're nearby. Take care and I will see you soon. Bye! But this is where I store, store, and just a black. Whoa!